23-year-old Christopher Carlson of Meriden remains held on $1 million bond following the stabbing death of 32-year-old Ernest Cipolli of Wallingford late Saturday night outside of Yalesville's Corner Cafe. According to the incident report, Christopher Carlson and the victim, Ernest Cipolli, exchanged words inside the Corner Cafe before it closed at around 9.45 Saturday. But Cipolli stayed inside while his girlfriend, the bartender, cleaned up. Then he went outside for a smoke and spotted the accused, Carlson, sitting in his car. And their argument grew more heated, according to a witness statement. Police say the female witness saw Carlson reach under his car seat for what turned out to be a knife. Then the witness said Carlson hit Sapoli in the arm with something that caused feathers to come out of his jacket. Next, according to the police report, Sapoli ran for the door at the corner cafe, but it was locked. And that's when Carlson allegedly stabbed Sapoli several more times. He was pronounced dead less than an hour after the stabbing. It's a terrible tragedy for both families. Uh, my, my, my client and his family are devastated, and of course the, the victim's family as well. Once Wallingford police were able to track down Carlson with the help of his father, he told cops, allegedly, that he felt threatened. So he pulled out his knife in self-defense. I'm Tony Terzi, Fox 61 News.